police station here at Pudding Mill Lane. This is just as you can see in Stratford, on the edge of Stratford, between Stratford and Bow. You can see on this old uh, A to Z, this is from about 2003, this A to Z. This is Pudding Mill DLR here, Pudding Mill Lane. This is before the Olympic work was done. This is Stratford Marsh is here. This is the essentially the Olympic Park, Stratford New Town, which is uh, where Westfield and East Village, and that's all over here. And this whole area here is obviously being redeveloped, and it's in various stages. It's in another place in a state of transition. So have a little walk around. I think I might head down here as well. This is basically the area of operations today. See, there's still a lot of construction work going on here and I think there will be for a few years yet to come. So clearly that's not a route as a pedestrian I can take in towards Stratford. I'm going to go this way. Although I walk around Stratford a lot between Leighton, Leighton Stone, Stratford, and I've made a few videos you have seen, I haven't been to this bit here around Pudding Mill Lane for probably, it might be up to a year actually. As you can, as you can tell, it's sort of slightly out of the way and you're not naturally often going to come down here. But this is the real next phase of uh, development around the Olympic Park. Oh, look, you own bookshop. Marshgate Business Centre, home to numerous sort of small companies doing all sorts of stuff. came down here in the summer after the Olympics 2013 for a look around at that point it didn't look good for these buildings here it looked like this was going to get swept into the new development so it's good to see they're still standing and it would be a real shame if this element of Stratford and East London's industrial history was just swept away and replaced with kind of bland anemic office blocks and apartment blocks It looks like that ironing board has been set up for someone to do a little bit of uh, street ironing. You could set that up as a business. Stand there with an iron in case someone needs something pressed on their way to work. I'm not entirely sure what to make of the situation. Is this someone who's been blowing up a lot of balloons? I think it is, isn't it? This is a very curious kind of space, isn't it? It's fenced in brick kind of uh, forecourt here. So actually it just leads you to another closed footway. I think this is the City Mill River and it eventually makes its confluence with the River Lee just over there by those buildings. And there's a network of rivers around here called the Bowback Rivers. Very difficult to remember which is which. City Mill, the Waterworks River, the Prescott Channel, the Channel Sea River. They all, they all joined eventually at various points of the River Lee. You can imagine how these rivers here though would have been teeming with life in the days of the old industrial Stratford. So I'm going to come out, I'm here now on Stratford High Street. I'm going to cross over and look around this area here, I think. 
this is another area of kind of uh, development here. So here's a, a model of what they're going to build on this site here. You can see there's a good reference point is that kind of uh, wicker tower, or well, it looks like a wicker tower to me. And this is the industrial area behind it. I did a talk in this building a couple of years ago, I think it was about two and a half years ago. And this model was here then, so they don't seem to have made any development with it. I think, I could be wrong. I think it's a development by Ikea. I think it's the, an Ikea town. I could be wrong about that. Sugar House Lane. I really appreciate the comments on the, on the videos, all the comments. And it's always really interesting to read comments from people who have a personal connection or a knowledge of of the areas I'm making videos about because you know I'm just going for a wander really I don't really know an awful lot about this area at all um, so it's fantastic when people kind of jump in and comment and share their connections and their stories um, so sorry if today's walk is a little bit light on information I'm really just having a look to be honest they are clearing the land now security guard told me that that building over there on the far side is being preserved. Apparently it's got some sort of uh, heritage value so that's being kept but everything else is being demolished. I screened um, my documentary about Bob and Roberta Smith, the artist, in one of these units around here and Bob uses uh, sign writing in his art and it turned out that the building had been a sign writing workshop and a couple of people who had worked there, songwriters, came to see the film, which was, which was an interesting. Another huge cleared area waiting to be built upon. Obviously retaining that lone chimney there as a reminder of the industrial past. This is the development area, and the development it's currently known as Strand East and here's a quite alarming notice and service of order persons unknown entering or remaining without consent of the claimant on land and buildings comprising part of the development site known as Strand East Stratford shown in shaded in pink on the plan annexed to the claim form if you uh, within them uh, disobey this order you may be held to be in contempt of court or may be in prison fined or have your assets seized Bloody hell, that's a bit melodramatic, isn't it? I mean, all I'm really trying to do here is make a document of it before it goes. Because when things change so quickly, it's really easy to forget what was here before. I think it's important to keep a record and to remember. This kind of bleak weather is perfect for capturing a scene of destruction like this. From uh, Three Mills Green, you get a great view back of this whole site here. The whole Sugar House Lane development, Strand East, as they're calling it. So here we have the meeting of the Three Mills River with the River Lee and the Bow Creek. Now obviously as you would know in pagan belief the confluence of 
two rivers is considered the sacred spot. What would they make of the confluence of three rivers? That's the TV studios in there, the film and TV studios. Three Mill Studios. I'll try and stick some names on the screen of things that have been made there. So apparently this mill here, the house mill, is the largest tidal mill in the country. There you go. There's a bit of information on the side of the building there. And as the name would suggest, Three Mills Island was the site of Three Mills. And the mills on this site go back a thousand years. Not well, these actual buildings, but there have been mills, particularly corn mills here, recorded in the Doomsday Book. And the river was a route in from the continent into London. So there was actually a cross-channel kind of route that ended at Stratford, even back in the, uh, in the Middle Ages, which is interesting considering now Stratford International is a way to link into that Eurostar route to Paris. That actually there was a, a route between Stratford and France that uh, Chaucer mentions it at the time as well. I think he makes fun of the, uh, the French spoken by the locals when they were greeting the French travellers arriving at Stratford. So that's Three Mills Green over there. On the far side of that is the Prescott Channel and the Channel Sea River. And this is the Prescott Channel, just at the end of Three Mills Green. Well, I think uh, that's my survey of Sugarhouse Lane, Pudding Mill Lane. And I'll head back up into Stratford now. It's been a freezing cold day. It's just about to get dark, the sun's going down. And, uh, I don't know. I have an early evening pint, which I very rarely do. Welcome to Ikea Town. 